back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back and if you're new you're welcome too and kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel like comment and share hope you, you are loving the videos other videos that i've uploaded this one too yeah so guys today i just want to do a kitchen tour recently my, my subscriber asked me for a kitchen tour and so i'm here to deliver it so yeah i just thought of doing it today i think it's been like three days since i uploaded a video so i thought today is just a good day to do it because yeah to upload that video just to be consistent and also satisfy my viewers yeah too so i hope you like this video it's just about kitchen tour all our, uh, how i've arranged the kitchen and just how it is and everything in it yeah nothing much about it so you're welcome and let's get started to this kitchen tour so i'm going to start with this side this side of the kitchen have this side this side by back and the other side i don't know if this is the u-shaped u-shaped or l-shaped kitchen i think it's a u-shaped yeah so here is where i put my pots sufuria we call them sufurias <laughs> so <laughs> this, are, this is where i put my pots and the lids this is the lid organizer that i got from 20 homes and this one this is the holder for this furia like when you serve and it's hot it's kind of the this pot is hot so you put this on it so that it doesn't burn the surface and so this one these ones came with uh, this set of pots yeah so that was it so up there sufuria most sufuria this one and this one oh uh, like almost everything here is trendy homes i got them from trendy homes They've been really good. This one I use for frying mandazis. Yeah, something like that. Those I cook on them occasionally because white is kind of difficult to wash. But it would, with low heat and uh, just being avoiding the spillovers, you're good to go. Yeah, so down here, more pots. And then down here, I have this tray and then chopping board. And then this guy used to put some bananas and other fruits that, yeah, just fruits that I don't need to put in the fridge. And this is where I put uh, Arena's, like, uh, drink. If she doesn't, I don't want her to drink a cold one, so I put it there. So this is where I put the cutleries. This one, two from Trendy Homes. It's been so helpful, by the way. This is where I put the hooden ones and all that stuff. Don't mind about that. The the bathroom was kind of leaking from the other side, but we repaired it and now it's all good. So it doesn't leak anymore. And I got this cutlery organizer too. That is really helpful. That, yeah, you see, I can just put spoons here, spoons here, forks, knives, and the small spoons I put here. Yeah, so that's it for there. Then down here I have uh, these organizing boxes. These ones that I put. These ones mostly I put snacks for Ariana and uh, me. Yeah, and uh, this one I put. I put what the maize flour, wheat flour, sugar, all that stuff that I've not opened and. But then I have my onions. See the effect that this leakage had over here. It was so bad. Yeah. But I have that fridge guard. So it's all good. This fridge guard, I also put the washing machine there. So it connects it there. But nowadays it doesn't leak. So it's all good for there. So I'm done with this area, this small area over here. This one by there, I just, I just put these shelves over here. I called someone to put them because I needed some space. But then later, I realized that I could have just made a cupboard that is big. And then maybe when I'm move, moving from this house, I could just carry it easily. And I think it could have even created more space. But anyways, I didn't think about that. 
initially so i'll just go with this one for now then we move here here i have my fridge and uh the laundry area this laundry area so here in the kitchen the kitchen was so special so that's why we just decided to put the laundry over here and also we could easily connect it outside to the tap so it really works well there up there i have my tripod stand that has also spoiled so this is my fridge this is the fridge currently we don't have much but because we're doing uh the what's it called shelf cooking so i'm currently trying to use everything that i have to make delicious meals of which I've posted some of the recipes and I'm I'm current I'll do I'll do some recipes too. So I'll just be posting so stay tuned so that you can know how it goes. Yeah, so that's it. That's a milk and yeah, all that stuff that we need for now. So currently I'm not doing any shopping except for milk, those necessary things that I need to buy, maybe milk and uh, tomatoes yeah just something like that but any other food we have at home so i don't want to buy more until we finish all these see those beans they they are even the ones that made me start this shelf cooking because i have not cooked them for a while but i i want to cook them yeah so that's my fridge and uh next to it i have this laundry area and yeah uh, this shelf this shelf has been so helpful and so i got these small small organizers over here to help store the towels these towels i use for them in the kitchen there, there are two two places that i use yeah so i store them some here some there and these are the washing washing whatever's yeah those are then i bought this one to experiment and i bought this one to experiment with the uh, the washing machine because i've never used don't mind about this it's dirty but i'll be washing it i've never used the like the powder in this machine so i decided to buy and experiment but then later someone told me that it's really not that good so I decided to just leave it so i added some of the detergent over here so that i'll be using this to store my detergent to clean the i, I use it to clean the house yeah so i use that to clean the house then up here i have my jig so like the fabric softener and then this one is the one now i'm using that's the one i've been using and then up here we also have some organizer too this one just some um, yeah just more cleaning stuff this is baking soda it's it's good for cleaning when you add it with the vinegar it cleans really well especially the fridge and if you want to have that freshness yeah it gives you a good freshness taste and these are the aprons that we use where well, this leakage had an effect you see that it was so bad so bad that the wall was just ruined it was ruined see but it's good we just repaired it and all was good now yeah so this is the washing machine yeah and uh, i also bought this bluish bluish cover so that it can match with the <laughs> you see i was going for a blue and a white the blue white and some ka yellow on it that's why this has some yellow yeah so this side this other side is over here we are going to review this other side that's the sockets and everything main switch and now here is where i put my ring light you see that it's just over here and this is the oven that i use and yeah von and everything so mostly i use that to boil stuff if i'm not using the electric the, like the electric pressure cooker and yeah so that's i use it to cook bake and boil and this is where the gas is by the way most of these houses in kenya and i believe everywhere else 
except yeah, other countries that are advanced most of the houses they have gas inside you, you just put your gas inside so yeah they are not built such that you can put your gas outside but i i see most changes changes are taking place some people when building they just put the gas outside nowadays just to minimize the risk yeah and down here is where i put the pan that i use occasionally i use that pan a lot so i just put them put it here there for easy access when i'm not using the oven i can always use it so next year this is the chair that helps me to like move around up there to get some stuff that i need so you see that angle i really love that area i love that area i, I even tried to remove the stuff over there just to put them that that side like to create space there but then i realized it was so bare that it just needed that over there so i decided to return it yeah so now it's just over here my bread and uh, like tea coffee tins are over here so let's start with up so up here i have some shelves 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 that is a lot of storage by the way this kitchen i really like it because of the storage and everything it's big it's special and it's a good one that's why i love the house despite the challenges of hmm, see that see that <laughs> and this one this by the way these uh these are uh, mirror over here this glass it's broke while i was just there so fortunately i was able to like hold it and so it didn't hurt me hey and ju that just like made me remove all of it so that it doesn't hurt anyone so up there i store my tissues because that space just wasted so to avoid ma making a mess in the bedroom and everything i just put my tissues over there yeah so up here i have some items that i don't usually use like on a daily basis so i put them there the sugar sugar i have put some inside the small one small tin over here so i don't need to reach that every day so i put it up there the ungaya chapo wheat flour spaghetti we cook it or we don't cook it often so i don't need it down here so up there i have my the food processor and the blender and everything up there yeah just because when i'm not using it so it just stayed there to create more space down here and i have over here i have the things that i use on a daily basis so some honey milk and powdered milk and uh, some maize flour i use it often that's another maize flour rice yeah all the breakfast stuff that the groundnuts have not like sorted it out but i sorted it out and use it i have some royco vinegar i used to have that to use that vinegar but nowadays i stopped but i might think of it later yeah so that's why i store all that stuff that i might need like daily yeah then up here i store my glasses glass jars mason jars everything arianas ice cream whatever but these are not all by the way i just removed some there so that I, at least i don't have a decluttered a cluttered space yeah and don't mind those those are the like i called someone to spray the house so i just decided to leave them there so that in case there's the the what the medicine or the pesticide yeah the pesticide is still effective it can still kill so i haven't like rough washed that place yeah so here i put my some of the bowls and the dishes i put them there Next, we move to this one. This one up there, I put some storage containers. With this storage container, I've also decluttered some 
and some caps over here also caps have declared some so here i've just left most of the things that i use the other ones i've just decluttered them i'll, I'll see what to do with them if i'm giving out or if some i'll need if i have a bigger storage space but for now i just want everything that i used to be i used to be here yeah some more dishes this one is for fish i really like the shape of it <laughs> some bowls yeah that uh that's what thomas i really use it so it's just up there here i put some of the stuff over here here i had some the hanging stuff for spoons and everything but i decided to remove it because because it wasn't that it wasn't looking so pretty over there so i decided to do it so coming here i also declutter this place it used to be a mess but now i just have my yeah, kettle jar like the water you use it to like warm the water and my egg tray over here and the of the <laughs> microwave yeah and to hold these i use a you see this one like this one this stuff over there so i just use a super glue but nowadays now i haven't bought a super glue so when I buy it, I'll use it to stick there and then put these ones. These, these that when I'm not using this one is for oven, one is for this one. Yeah, and that one is sorted. So next you go here. I have my food processor stand. And then this one I use for oil. The other ones I have just said to let them go because they're not helping anymore. And yeah, so here I put my spices, all spices that I need. Some are up here, but the ones that I use often, the ones I put here. And then this the coffee and whatever tea. Though I don't put tea over here, I just put these tea leaves. These ones that just help me. I, I'm currently detoxing and... <laughs> Yeah, so I just need this kind of tea here. So these are the ones that I put over here. And here I've not even... And here too, more tea. These ones are just for detoxing. This one, I don't like it more. Because it doesn't taste really good. It's just green tea with some... I don't know what is inside, but I don't like it. I like this more. So yeah, here I have some sugar, cocoa... And this is coffee, and right here, but they don't put bread only if it remains. And yeah, I I put I put some snacks over here for easy access sometimes, but that's tea leaves. Currently, I'm not putting bread there, you know. I usually bought this thing for putting bread, but then <laughs> like I'm just skeptical of like how, how am I just going to put bread there? <laughs> So even if I put it, I put it with the wrapped wrapped inside. I put it wrapped. I just don't put it like that. I put it when wrapped, yeah. So over here I put my kitchen towel and then this flower I used to have it in the living room, but then I decided to just keep it here. Even though it doesn't match, but at least it brings some beauty to it. So that's it for here. This is how I have arranged this place, the top part. Yeah, that's it for this side of the kitchen. That's it. So when you move to the down part, by the way, this one also spoiled. You, you might even wonder, how old is this house? How old? We've just stayed here for 20 we moved here in 2020. How was it? Yeah, 2020. And where the condition was really, really bad. But from the look of it, it, it was looking good. But then, you know, after staying for like a month or two is when you start to realize yeah, everything is not that all rosy. But then, at least it's special, it's special and all that good. So he just stayed. So down here, I have a... Uh, I have yeah these are the items that I removed from that shelf that I told you about and this is my knife sharpener I use it to sharpen the knife and that's where I put the pressure cooker 
the older blender that I used to blend some stuff. The one, the other one I used for smoothies mostly, and this one for other stuff, and uh, all the cake stuff, cake mix, and everything that I need. So down here I have some more more storage tins and uh, the ice cube trays that help me with the yeah just blended stuff and then i freeze and more more utensils there i use so i put some pans that i don't often use yeah this one too once in a while stuff yeah so that's it for that place nothing much about it and then when you move here Put my vinegar over there. I bought this vinegar some time ago and it's been so helpful. I use it for cleaning and sometimes mostly cleaning by the way. Mostly cleaning food and fridge and just the surfaces. It helps a lot. And then this is the water dispenser. By the way, this mini over here, you see this water dispenser? I bought it just recently, this one. You just press here it's electrical by the way it uh, you charge it and then you just put it here so this bottle spoiled and someday when i put it here i thought the dispenser spoiled so we had to let go of the other one and we bought this other one but then when i put it again it it was leaking so i thought maybe it's there it's the bottle that has spoiled and when i I, I returned it to the like when they were filling the water they told me it's the bottle that has spoiled so i decided to instead of letting go of this precious bottle and i drink a lot of water i decided and these 20 liters will not be enough by the way so i decided to just buy this one that you just after charging you just press here and then water just flows so it's all good and this one is also helpful too when i need a quick water hot water just press there and yeah hot water flows so it's really helpful yeah so that's it for there and uh, we move to this section by the you can see how this kitchen is uh, it's old it's old yes but it is special so uh, here is where i put the the table mats the table mats table mats table mats i put them there and then here i put the carrier bags that i use to go shopping and everything hey it's not even closing nicely and down here since it has this funny funny shape over here so it's difficult to put a lot of stuff there because we want to have quick access to it so and then the downside is made of concrete so it's not really suitable for putting a lot of stuff so they don't put a lot of stuff just put my cleaning towels and uh yeah there's the leaf blower yeah so nothing much there so that's it for that side that side of the kitchen we move to this side of the kitchen this is the sink area the sink area and so i have this cutting over here by the way when you have a house you have to ensure that there's security i rarely open that window yeah and the grill is there so recently there have been so many cases of breaking in with the thieves and everything so you have to ensure security of your house so i have this that i, I always lock this place and also down there so i don't hope i hope they don't break in <laughs> yeah so you just have to ensure security <laughs> security is very important so here i after washing the utensils i put them here to dry and store them away so i just wash them and store them and yeah so there i have my towel the strainer for removing all that and everything the washing stuff more washing stuff and brushes so i was given from house of leather as a gift after buying stuff yeah so this one helps with the cleaning around of the sink area and maybe if you want to clean something that's inside a pot like somewhere you can just reach so you use that to clean so down here i have a pedal bin that i use often to just hold the dirt before I, the 
garbage before I take them outside. And then over here I have uh, more cleaning items, cleaning detergents. I yeah, that's where I put them. Most of the cleaning items and uh, my extras over here. Some cooking oil. Yeah, I just put it there because it's is the like that's the place that has some space and it's closed, so I don't think there's any issue. <laughs> well, okay, that's it with that space over here. Nothing much about it. Yeah, this is the door that leads to the back side. Back here. I just put everything that I don't need. Like I need them, but I'm currently not using. So I decided to create a space over here for them. There's a small area that I like left for laundry items. This was supposed to be the laundry area, but since it's dusty over here, you can't just leave the washing machine here. It's dusty and also you have to be like just be careful with their stuff. You don't know anyone might come and take it. <laughs> but number one reason was because of the of the dust. We couldn't leave it outside here. These are Ariana's bikes. And then yeah, just the back side of the house. These are the things that I decluttered from the kitchen. You can see how you see there was so much so much a lot <laughs> yeah a lot of stuff that i didn't need in the house so yeah that was it guys um, that was the that was the kitchen tour and so now that i'm done with that i'm just going to close the kitchen this door i just stay in the living room as i work without the thought of someone coming no, this place by there I used to think it is so secure, but when someone start, tried to break in recently, it just gave me the thought of where it's no longer safe. It's no longer safe. No, someone they came and opened this window. Fortunately, I always lock this so they couldn't get in. Even my neighbor, they removed this one one glass over here and uh, yeah they wanted to come in but fortunately she also locks it so they didn't come in but then we just have to be like just ensure the safety and uh pray to god to protect us yeah so that's it guys that's it for the kitchen tour i hope you have loved it like comment subscribe put down any suggestion that you have to make some changes but not on renovation because no i'm not thinking of renovating this kitchen because i'll soon be moving out so i don't think of i don't think of the need to renovate it and uh, yeah that's some money i could use to do other things <laughs> even though it looks like that like this and all that but i'm not renovating it yeah because i'm not thinking of staying here for a very long time yeah so that's it for this kitchen tour thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe so bye bye guys and i hope you meet next time in another video so bye for now and thank you so much for watching by the way i really appreciate your support and everything yeah so now i'm just <laughs>